What's up, everybody? Welcome to day seven here on the Aussie Horror Theme Week. I am your host, Moon616, and thank you once again for dropping in. Alrighty, guys, yeah, it's come to the end. It is day seven here. Um, and yet again, another film I have never seen before. Uh, this was actually a recommendation from my boy, Jeremy. Uh, I picked this up while I was on holidays. I recommended it to me to buy, so couldn't pass it up. It was like $1.50, so... Um, but essentially, it ended up changing my day seven. Uh, I previously had another film in mind for the last day. I changed it last minute. I'm going to go with this one. And um, yeah, so this one says from 2009. Uh, I believe it came out in 2010, though, um, in Australia. And it's called Slaughtered. Uh, not the most original title in the world, I will admit that. <laughs> but um, yeah, so you can probably pertain or figure out what this is pertaining to, it's, uh, it's a slasher flick. Um, yeah, so basically, uh, the plot of the film is, uh, about, um, a girl named Jamie, uh, played by, uh, Chloe Borham. Uh, I believe that she was actually most recently in Wolf Creek 2, which I still need to see, actually, but, um, anyways, she is just taking a new job at this, uh, at this, like, this really kind of unique pub, out in like the outback, um, it's like in a remote area kind of deal, um, kind of weird, but anyways, you know, she's just started working there, and she arrives with her friend and stuff, of course, they're getting a ride from another guy, and they're fucking late to, you know, getting to work, because the car breaks down and shit, so they take it, they take a ride with this like really old fucking creepy looking dude and shit like that, uh, who ends up actually coming back into the pub later in the film and having some drinks and stuff, but anyways, you know, she shows up at this job and stuff, and it's very filled with, like, sexual tension and stuff, like, you know, a couple of guy workers there hitting on these, the girls and stuff, and it, there, there's just a lot of sexual conversation and stuff, and that's pretty much exactly what the plot is, you know, it's just about them working and interacting with the, uh, you know, the, the, the people at the bar and interaction with themselves and stuff, um, not too long into the film, I think within, like, the first, like, 10, 15 minutes, uh, a couple of the guys go upstairs to the, um, upstairs to the pool table room, and uh, a couple of the guys that work there, and um, they find this body, like this body that's just filled with blood, there's blood everywhere laying on the pool table, so they're like, holy shit, man, like what the fuck is this about, so they call the cops, but instead of, you know, informing, you know, the people that are in the bar, and the other girls that are working there, uh, that this has happened, they don't say anything, which is kind of an odd choice by the characters, because generally when you find a dead body, your first reaction is probably to, to tell people that you're working and maybe shut the place down or whatnot. But of course they don't do that for the sake of the slasher film. Um, but anyway, so they phone the police like right away. And, uh, and of course more people in the bars just start getting picked off one by one by this, by this fucking killer. So, and that's pretty much the entire premise of the film. Uh, now my thoughts on this one. Now, this movie's really short. It runs just under 80 minutes, so it gets into it quite quickly. Um, you get to see the killer pretty quick in the film. Um, he kind of, He's kind of cool looking. Oh, my nose is itchy. Um, he's kind of cool looking. Um, he basically has like a mask on uh, that is like kind of made up of like dead... It's like a dead skin mask mixed in with like shark glass and stuff. So he actually does look pretty cool. He wears like a black cape and black kind of gown thing. Um, like he's pretty cool looking. He kind of looks like a combination of like ghost face and something else, I don't know, but, uh, yeah, the, the killer's pretty cool, his weapon's fucking gnarly, he's got, like, this crazy kind of curved saw that he, you know, hacks up people with and shit, um, so that was pretty cool, the kills themselves aren't bad, one thing about this movie that really was irking me to death was the fact that there was a few kills that were off screen, and I don't know why they were off screen, it didn't make any sense, because essentially this movie actually doesn't have, uh, there's no motive for the killings at all, um, so if you're going to kill people off screen and you're not going to have any motive anyways, what's the point of killing people off screen? It's not building up any tension. It's not doing anything in the film. Um, so that was kind of annoying me a little bit, but there was a lot of on screen kills. Actually, the body count's pretty fucking high in this movie considering it's all in one setting, basically, you know, upstairs, uh, basically on three floors of this, um, this bar, there's like a downstairs where they keep all the booze and stuff. And then there's the very upstairs and the middle floor. Um, so it, it happens throughout all these three floors and stuff, and, um, yeah, so, you know, it's one of these slasher films that doesn't have a motive, um, 
and just a lot of people are getting picked off and stuff. There's not really a whole lot to say about it. There is a lot of fucking blood in this movie. Some pretty decent kills. Um, but nothing over the top, though. Like, there's one kill in this film, though, I will fucking say. It involves shard glass and drinking it. Um, yeah, I was cringing pretty fucking bad on that one, man. That was a pretty nasty kill. Pretty cool stuff. Um, but, you know, overall, it was just... Uh, there's a lot of decisions by the characters that that really kind of piss you off throughout the film and you don't know why they're making these weird decisions oh he's just playing a joke or she she's just playing a joke you know just kind of brushing things off and stuff very kind of cliched character you know things to say and do in the films and stuff the funniest aspect of this film is that they call the police right at the beginning of the film and he doesn't sh the cops don't show up until of course everything is done you know like it took him that long to arrive you know on a pretty fucking extreme call <laughs> so I don't know, I thought that was pretty funny too, but, um, you know, it's above average though, I definitely would say it's above average, if I have to rate this film, I'd probably give it maybe about a 6 out of 10, I, I would recommend it for the very hardcore slasher fan, if you're looking for, you know, a, you know, a meaning and, you know, more deeper things to the film, you're not going to find it here, the dialogue isn't the worst in the world, you know, it kind of keeps you interested and stuff, some of the dialogue isn't the best, but, it, you know, it's not the worst either, it kind of keeps you going in the film, but, you know, if you're looking for a deeper meaning to the slasher film, not going to find it, there's really not a lot there, um, and it has, you know, one of those endings, you're just like, meh, okay, um, but, uh, you know, like I said, it's it's above average. It's not so, so bad. Um, it's not as good as Jeremy said it was going to be, in my opinion. But, uh, um, you know, with that said, like I said, you know, it's a, it's a slasher film. You're going to get what you're, you know, what you're paying for. So, But, yeah, Slaughtered from uh, 2010. And that is going to do it for Australian uh, theme week. You know, I, I'm probably going to say that this is going to be volume one. I never put that in the title or anything, but I think this will be volume one. I wanted to focus this week on titles that a lot of people haven't even seen before, which, including myself, I pretty much six of the seven titles this week I'd never even seen myself. But um, I think I might do a part two with a little more well-known films and talk about some some of those ones and stuff that um, you know that more people know about and stuff. But who knows? I'll maybe save that for down the road. If you guys like the Aussie week, you know, tell me in the comments down below if you would like to see a part two. Um, Maybe I'll just, you know, if I get enough fucking, you know, people saying that they want to see a part two, I'll, I'll do another one. But, but yeah, so Slaughtered, I loosely recommend it for the hardcore slasher fans out there. Yeah. All right, guys, that's day seven here. That is it for Aussie theme week. And I will catch you guys on the next, uh, you know, theme week. I have no idea what it's going to be. If you guys have any um, recommendations or theme weeks that you want to see just leave comments down below man um i do have a list of a lot of theme weeks and stuff that i want to do but you know i'm more than willing to take you know any uh recommendations and stuff and, and actually do them so anyways guys thanks for all the support i fucking love that and thank you for watching the videos and stuff and peace out guys